Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be sharing with you guys on how to create this very vintage VHS kind of look. So today I'll be showing you on both using plugins to do this and without plugins. And I'll start with no plugins. So you have to create a new event. I'll make the project name as Clips and choose the video as NTSC SD format instead of 4K. Yeah. And then the resolution, I'm just just choose this, uh, the the first one actually, and click OK, and then go to the timeline and drag the clip that you want onto the timeline. And the, as you can see, this is a 4K clip, so I'm just gonna scale up, like increase the size, and then go to the effects column, and then for this case, without plugins, I'm gonna add noise to this clip, and then choose the blend mode. To screen or if you want you can always change to color dodge but in this case I like screen more because it's like a little bit faded and then I'll change the type to Gaussian noise and then increase the amount and to a little bit over 0 0.24 yeah around there add another effect called Gaussian and you can see the amount you have to drag it all the way down and make sure you don't have a very big number in the amount because it will just blur out the entire image and then at the third effect bad TV change the amount if you want to have a very subtle one you can always make it less than 10 if you want to have a very distorted one you can add the amount to around 10 and then for me, I like the TV static one a little bit more, so I'm just gonna choose TV static. Yep, let me change the amount again. And then at the fourth one, fourth effect, prism. And as you can see, you can change the, the color, the abrasion here. And then I'm gonna change the amount to around four, actually. And let me enlarge this a little bit and then go to the color correction. A tap and it can always change the color a little bit so to create a very authentic vintage look and for me actually I think the amount of prism should be even lower so I'm gonna change it to 2 down and lower the bad TV amount as well and I'll just increase the exposure for the highlight and mid tone and then decrease a little bit on master and for saturation if you want you can always increase or decrease so to create different kind of look so for this case i think the original one is quite all right so i'm not gonna change anything and that's it for the vhs look without plugins and then i'll add another thing called time code so you can find it on the generator tab and add it on the timeline and then you can always change the time settings like the project and everything so click on it and go to the actual uh, inspector and you can change the color the font the format the size the label so i'm going to change to vhs and decrease the opacity so it looks more natural you can always change the position as well so it looks kind of cool very vintage look if you have another clip and you want to just copy paste the entire effect you can always just press command c on the first clip and shift command v on the second clip just put everything there and for the second clip i'm just gonna readjust the x axis position and this is a very good kind of uh, abrasion the color abrasion here and i'm just gonna drag the time code a little bit longer and that's all i need to do and for plugins let me create another project and let me change the video format to actually 4K resolution. And yep, let's create the timeline and copy paste the original two clips here. For this one, I'm using the uh, distortion VFX panel from the Cinepunch. So let me go all the way down. There are a lot of glitch effects and if you're interested, you can check out my other videos. But today I'm gonna just focusing on VHS FX. And then once you drag it on the clip, you can see that there are a lot of stuff. You can adjust like the frames and yeah, you can see that a lot of other elements, like even the time, the date and the runtime. And you can increase or decrease the opacity for many of the effects. And yeah, the overlay, 
yeah, you can always increase the skill, decrease the skill and increase the statics and all. It's very cool. And yep, yeah, there are a lot of separations, abrasions, and like um, tint, roll, waviness, all these are very easily adjusted. And time code opacity, of course, you can increase, decrease, change the time code, position, scale. And yep, yeah, you can even just change the time code base to stuff, different stuff and change the play text to other stuff like um, VHS, change the date as well. And for this case, actually, I think the original one is a little bit too much on all the distortions. So I'm just gonna uh, decrease all the very funny opacities. Let me find the actual ones. I think it's, yep, let's decrease the sharpener, decrease the strength, decrease the discoloring, Decrease the opacity, the field opacity, waviness, statics. Yeah, let's decrease a little bit. So this is a very gloomy, very cool kind of look. And decrease the tint, change the scan line brightness, percentage. And you can always decrease the number of scan lines if you want to create a very vintage kind of look. If not, you can always just increase the number of scan lines to make it a, a, a better looking one. And yep, it's all done, very easy. And similarly, I'm just gonna copy paste all the attributes and facts to the second clip. It's a very beautiful CSET video. And that's all for today's video. Hope you guys like it and please subscribe to my channel, like my videos and comment on the comment section below. Thank you guys, bye bye.